When I first started doing remote work eight years ago, I always had this vision that I would be like sitting out on a cliff somewhere working on some code or maybe out at a waterfall. But the reality of it is I don't ever go out and code like that. So I thought maybe I'd be more likely to do it if I built myself a portable workstation. It's kind of like a folding TV tray, but it's a little bit bigger and a little bit nicer. I had some elm left over from when I did the kitchen table, and then I had some walnut, which I had dried around the same time, so that was going to work good for the legs. One of the pieces of elm had a nice curve to it, so I thought that would be a perfect tabletop. That piece just happened to have a bunch of ring shake, but the ring shake didn't go to the ends, which made it perfect for filling with epoxy. After getting it planed down, I was kind of back and forth on how I was going to do the legs on this thing. I was getting crazy extravagant with them and I just never could get anything done on it because all I was doing was thinking up new ideas and new reasons why I shouldn't do it that way. So eventually I just went back to the original plan. I'll just do it like a TV tray with the folding legs. I had a TV tray laying around that was a little smaller in height than I wanted, so I just kind of used the dimensions off of it and modified it. Once I modified those dimensions and got the lengths I needed, I went ahead and did the cutouts for the joinery. Once I got the glue on there, I grabbed these Rockler clamps I ordered a while back. I've been itching to use them. I got them in 36 inch length because I needed something long that would lay flat and I thought these were pretty good for it when they had a sale on them over the holidays. The one thing I didn't think about on this though was this table that I'm currently on is not perfectly flat. so. Even though I clamped them down flat, they had a little crook to them. Then I went ahead and sanded them down and used the old trusty CA glue and sawdust to fill the gaps. I went ahead and used the portable drill press on this. I just put shims in each side so that it would sit level over it. Next, I just use some wipe on poly to coat the legs. At this point, I'd kind of been going back and forth on whether I was going to make the legs detach from the top. That way, if I ever wanted to just use the board on top for something to put the laptop on or whatever. I could separate it easy. But as this drug on, I just decided to screw the top to the legs. If I decide to change it in the future, maybe I can modify it or just build another one. My first choice, I was going to use aluminum across the bottom to hold this thing in but it really just didn't work right. And I started thinking, man, paracord would be perfect for this. So ultimately I knew I would have to drill through on these and then I would just tie a knot on one end and screw it into the other. And it kind of worked that way. I actually just screwed into both ends. 
I was originally going to do separate sides on this, so a left one would have a piece of string screwed on both ends and the right one would have it. The more I thought about this is if I didn't get them perfect, it would just be wonky, so I decided to just pass it through the center. After drilling the holes where the strings would go through, I just used a Forstner bit in the middle to connect the two. That way that piece, when I screwed it down, the string would be underneath. Then I used the drill bit to just kind of clean that out so it would be a perfect connection. Next, I sanded the little pieces that were going to attach under the bottom down, and beveled the edges a little bit so they wouldn't be so sharp. Once I got the legs together, I gave them a little test run to make sure they were going to work as expected and they worked perfect, so I was happy with that. Now it was time to string everything up. On the one side, I wound up just pulling it through and screwing a screw in the bottom into a recess. And here I just push the paracord through. And aligned it as best I could. I couldn't get this polyurethane top to push down and spin. Nothing worked on it. This thing. I finally wound up just prying the plastic off and taking it off with a set of pipe wrenches. 
After that little snafu, I was certainly ready to get this thing done. So I put the wipe on poly on the remaining pieces. This included the bottom of the legs where I'd cut them off to level out the table. Gave it a test run with the paracord and it worked exactly like it should. It felt good to have this thing done and it get its maiden voyage editing this video right here. As usual, if you made it this far, like and subscribe.